right guys so I did a video a couple days ago around Friday about my camper van setup and today I have two special guests I have my dog is with me this is Eliana she is a Siberian Husky and that little guy name is Katai and he is a teddy bear just two mix but he's mostly a teddy bear so I just want to come on here and ask him a couple questions about the why and the how um, I do my van setup and why I did it like this um, so can I get a regular camper or RV put along trailer? Yes, I could, but I like to travel. And as you can see, we're in a beautiful park right now. I wouldn't be able to be as stealth if I were in an RV or a camper. So that's my reasoning. It's just the a minivan is a lot easier to maintain. It's a lot cheaper to maintain than an RV or even a trailer. Um, the things that's in here is easy to maintainable. I have everything that an RV does have, except it's to my standards or to my how is easy for me to um yeah whatever so but when i say this is a simple van build that's th that's what i mean so i'll show you what i mean by that um we'll start with my bed all this is is plywood supported by two by four supported by bigger um by bigger wood blocks and i have five of those around my car so very simple, very easy. Actually, this piece came all in one and I did cut it. I did a poor job. Hey, I'm doing this by myself, so cut me some slack. But um, yeah, that's all my bed is made of. And then it's um, some cushion. Uh, I think it's three inch memory foam cushion. So that's all my bed is made of. And then everything else under there is storage. I have a, um, a chair and I have a portable shower. Um, uh, a camping actual camping chair um, I showed you my um, portable power station but see all you do is you turn that on turn that on I'm able to have portable power um, so yeah I mean my van build at most was like $300 the whole thing to the build and the most expensive thing in my um, van build is this right here <laughs> so coming around to this side this I did switch out my sink um I don't know I just like this one better it's still it's still the running sink but I do like this one better um had to rig it up to where it'll stay when I drive but this is a cubicle you can pick these up from Walmart Myers you can pick them up pretty much anywhere it was a six cubicle and what I did was I cut it to um to fit my needs and also I had to add this on here to keep my water in because I found out the hard way that, yeah, my water doesn't always stay. And then when I want more room to cook, I just pop this bad boy under here like that. And then I can cook in my kitchen. Now, this can be an outdoor kitchen too. Um, I can stand here and cook and use the sink and everything. So what was practical for me is I wanted to have everything accessible from inside of my van. I needed to be in my van. Like, say I pulled over and I didn't want to get out. I needed to be in my van and able to... Um, assess everything from inside my van so that was practical for me also it was practical for me i wanted a straight walkthrough i didn't want to block off either one of my doors i wanted to be able to use and open both of my doors so that was also also practical for me um another thing that makes my camping life easy is my magnetized curtains that's all i do and you can't see in on the outside so um so i saw a comment that someone asked me to show them how i do the board it's pretty much just a regular board um i don't have her bed with me because i'm not camping but what i do is that goes across like that and then i have a pretty medium-sized board a medium-sized bed and i just set it right there and she, like i said she has plenty of space up there but that's pretty much all i do i mean you can imagine a, a, a bed sitting there is supported she doesn't ever fall through um so yeah and then safety features i do have safety features that i want to also tell you guys um i have a carbon monoxide detector oh and then this is just a piece of vinyl um cheap i bought it to pick it up from menards for 20 bucks it's just a piece of vinyl that i cut to the size of my floor i'm um, not expensive at all and then the screen I picked up from Walmart um, for 20 bucks. It's a magic mesh screen. Picked it up from Walmart for 20 bucks. Um, these two things 
I got from Ikea. So over here. These are things I bought from Ikea and then that one. Those are 25 bucks. And then I do have a fire extinguisher. So I am safe. Um, but yeah, this van, van bill was fairly cheap. When I say cheap, that's what I mean. Because the most expensive thing in my van is my portable power station. And it was a cheap build. I mean, everything is recyclable and or, yeah. So that's the why and the how for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one again. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave them down in the comments. Bye.